Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make non-toxic car freshener in six different ways by using natural ingredients. It's really simple and easy. First method, you need baking soda, a glass jar, so it's not contaminated when the car is getting hot, and your favorite essential oil. I pick lavender, it's my favorite. Now fill the jar half full with baking soda. Then add some drop of essential oil and mix them up. Now it's done for use. This is a salt jar, which is really cool that the lid already have holes in different side level. I can turn the lid to let the smell come out less or more, or I can turn it to close when I'm not in a car. If you don't have salt jar like this, here's the tip. You can also use any glass grocery jar that you have in the kitchen and poke some hole into the lid with a nail. Now, let's get to another method. Second method, you need water, a spray bottle, dry lavender flowers, your favorite essential oil. I pick lavender again. Now, fill the bottle up with water, then add 3 teaspoons of dry lavender flour. After that, add some drop of lavender essential oil. Then give it a good shake. Now you got Sprite Air Freshener. Third method, you need muslin drawstring bag. I got this one from the event at my work, which is really perfect. And you need dry lavender flower. Now fill the bag up with the flour. You can add lavender oil if you want strong smell. For me, this is good enough. Look at this. It has a string which best fits this tag. Uh, it's pretty cool, huh? Now it's done. You have this just like other car freshener, but the difference do not smell any chemical product anymore. I'm going to make another one for my friend Valerie, who provide me the essential oil to use for this episode. So thank you. Now you have lavender sedge to hang in your car and when it touch the sunlight, it's gonna smell nicer. Fourth method, you need a glass jar, water bead jelly. I got this from one of my clients in Hong Kong, but I think you can find this at the craft store like Michael. Your favorite essential oil, I chose lavender again, and then some water. Now add one teaspoon of water bead jelly into a jar. Then add some water, Start with a bit of water first cause bit jelly will expand by water and you don't want it too much. Leave it about 5 to 10 minutes to expand. I add some more of water to get bigger jelly close to full of jar. So this is good enough. Now add some drop of essential oil, then mix them up. Now you got gel freshener. I can turn the lid to let the smell come out less or more, or I can turn to close just like back into that jar. Fifth method, you need muslin drawstring bag, rice, essential oil. Now pour the rice into the bag. Then add some drop of essential oil. Then give it a good shake for good mix. Now you have a rice lavender sash to hand in your car. Sixth method, you need wall fell and I don't have time to cut wall fell into shape to use so I found this coaster, it's made from wall fell, it's only 99 cents at Daiso, essential oil and you need a string for hanging. Now put some drop of essential oil onto the fell, it will absorb them up to a few seconds. Now you got a choice of six different non-toxic air freshener. Fell and essential oil freshener, lavender set, rice sedge, baking soda freshener, gel freshener, spray air freshener. I hope you give yourself a try with one of these methods. It's really easy to make in just a couple of minutes and not only save a lot of money to do it on your own, but it's good for your health. You may think air freshener product on the market leaving your air clean and refreshed, but those products just mask other and contain dangerous chemicals that can cause more harm than good. Now you got the idea how to make your own safe and eco-friendly air freshener. Let me know how it turned out and thank you for watching. i see you guys again soon with some more tips.